Okay, can someone tell me some of the interior angles for this figure here? 900. How did you come up with that? Oh, we take on the side to add them together, minus T, minus 180. Okay. But how do you know the side? So Clint, you just count them up. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you took seven. You took two away. That's five. Okay. And then what? You take times one. So why did you subtract two? Good question. Clint? Because I said that's how that's on the internet. I appreciate that, but you know, it doesn't really do us any good. Uh, if you didn't come up with it, I wouldn't have, I would, you wouldn't have lost credit, okay? I just wanted you to work at figuring it out. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I tried a little ripping down with this thing, okay. whatever, and it didn't really work out. They didn't fit together, so. Okay. Good. So try ripping it up like we did at the beginning of class last time. Okay. Um, any other, other ideas? Yes. Oh, uh, I was going to say something. Well, let's talk about this one. We said Clint say 7 minus 2 and multiply by 180. Clint, why? Of course, maybe somebody, can you guess why you might do that? Oh, because on the just two angles make up just a straight line. Two of the angles make a straight line. Well, like you know, the straight line has two angles. I would say and that doesn't make a problem. The straight line. Yeah. Has two angles. Yeah. And it doesn't count. And a line is not a shape. So. All right. Line is not a shape, so you just make one shape. Okay. Sounds like a a guess, we're guessing? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't have it's not a shape. Hmm. There might be something to that. We haven't sure about that one. It's an interesting thought. Um well let's do a quick run through again of what we did last time, okay? Uh, so, all right, so this is from a, another class. But I had you all cut out triangles, and then, as Daniela alluded to, we cut them up and put the angles together, right? And this angle, this angle, and this angle together added up to what? Uh, I showed you, not just by examples, but we looked at a proof, okay? Let me show you that proof real quick. essentially like this. Just take a copy of this guy here and rotate it. Okay. Take this and rotate that. Copy again. Okay. And let's see. Let's that's like a let's see, kind of black orange Green. Let's make that maybe a lighter shade of green. So it looks a little more different than it did. Okay. So you saw that I took this and I rotated it and put it right there. Just a completely perfect copy. Okay. So those angles must have wound up somewhere, right, in that copy. So where did this angle go? Here? 
here. Yeah, right. Yeah, right there. Okay, so this black one winds up there. Right. Where'd this one go? In the bottom. Right there in the bottom. So the green one naturally would go right there, right? Yeah. Okay. How about this angle? What's this angle the same as? That one. Also green? Okay. It's orange, and that's black, right? But what we needed to show was that this angle right here is how much? 180. 180. And we have black plus orange plus green is? 180. Black plus orange plus green. It's a triangle. So those, we, we pulled those directly from this triangle. Black plus orange plus green was 180, okay? So for any triangle, we could do this again and show over and over and over that all those angles, all three of those from a triangle add up to 180. How do you know it adds up to 180? Okay, that's a good question. Because the way that we built this was to take a copy, okay? and rotate it so that when we rotate it, those two lines will match up perfectly, okay? I flipped it 180 degrees, okay? So I completely flipped it upside down, all right? So this guy and this guy here, they should be parallel to each other. If I flip it around 180 degrees. I would have to flip it up over 180 degrees to get these to match up and not like overlap at all. So this guy and this guy here are parallel, right? Well, then I took this one and I rotated it 180 degrees for a total of 360 from the original, right? Mm -hmm. So this guy and this guy are parallel. Well, this and this, they're just 180 degree rotations of each other. So this line and this line are parallel. So these two definitely, like, there's no angle at all right there. Or if it is, it's 180 degrees. From there, right, the line continues perfectly straight across the bottom of this one. Right? Mm -hmm. And a, a flat line is how many degrees? I don't know. <laughs> 180. If I got out my protractor measure from here to there, it would be 90. Right? I'd keep going all the way. Oh, yeah. It's 180 I'm degrees. I'm not good with the angles. <laughs> well, maybe. Uh, no. It'll come back to you. Okay. So from there to there is 180 degrees. Okay, that's for sure. All right. And we know that this angle, this angle, and this angle, they perfectly take up that 180 degrees. Because for one, again, this is this triangle is exactly the same as this one. It's just flipped upside down. And it fits right there, like it's touching all along this side here. And these two are touching all along this side here, no gaps in between them or anything like that. That's exactly how we made this one, was to copy this one and rotate it around 180 degrees so that it's touching all along here. All right. So we know that it's perfectly flat, 180 degrees. We know that these three triangles are exactly the same as each other. They're touching all along here, all along here. And those three angles all put together completely take up that 180 degrees. Is that convincing? I yes. get that, but no, never mind. So we did the triangle. Triangle, if you add up all the angles of a triangle, we get 180 degrees. All right, then I brought this up. Oh, wrong place. I didn't bring this up yet. I brought up this last time. And I said, I sent you home with the task of if I take this angle and this angle and this angle and this angle, and I should show that they're different or possibly different. Those are all not necessarily the same. If I add those all up, okay, what's the sum of all those angles? That's what I want to do to show 180 at home. So if I add up this, 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 and this, you get 180, just like a triangle? No. Thing, the hint that I gave you, and I guess we'll just go ahead and work through this together today. All right. I don't, I don't know if it went as well as I hoped. Back it up. The hint that I gave you was to start here, or start here, or whatever. So 
let's say we start here, and I draw a line from there to there. This angle plus this angle plus this angle is how much? 180. This angle plus this angle plus this angle is how much? 180. So this angle plus 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 this angle. 360. 360. Agreed? Yeah. 360. Did we uh, add up all of the angles of the four sided figure, of the quadrilateral? This one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Did we add them all up? Yes. All four angles? Yes. Did we leave anything out? No. Did we get anything extra? No. No. We got it completely. We didn't exactly add this one plus this one plus this one plus this one. But we did do this one plus 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 this one. Plus this one. You see? So we get 360 as we said before. Okay. So try it again for the five and the six sided figure. The same kind of hint. All right. And I think what Clint brought up will make more sense as well. Okay, so how do we continue to use this idea of triangles for the five sided figure, Clint? You go ahead and you like divide it so it's a triangle and a square. How, how do you do that? Okay, so you draw a line from that angle to the other one. Just oh, over just, here? Yeah, that'll work too. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, see, so you know the triangle has 180. Okay, this, this, this. And then there's a square below that. You know this is that? a square? Yeah. So this is a square? square? Not perfect oh. square, but it's like, has four sides. Anyway. Okay, so four sided, so yeah. quadrilateral, yes. Yeah, so four and sided figures quadrilateral. And then you know that's 360. Okay. And then you just like add those together. Okay, so this plus this is 180. This plus this plus this plus this. We just showed over here is 360, right? How do we know this is 360? Okay, you can say that. That's been fairly well established. That's four sides. But how did we show that in the first place? Because if two, if you put two triangles together, it will be four sides. So I can take this four sided thing, make it a two triangle thing like this. Right? Which all, all I just did is kind of reaffirm, yeah, that that this four-sided thing definitely adds up to 360. Okay. How about this guy here? Um, those two sides of the yeah, that side and, and this one. Yeah, okay. Those ones. And those are two triangles and a square. Two triangles and a square. I mean, yeah. Square is 360 and triangle is 360. Is this a square? Uh, a quadrilateral. Okay, quadrilateral. So these are 180 each. And, uh, and this is 360. Okay? That works? That works well. We could have done any, uh, I mean, if we're going to keep going back to old shapes that we've already shown have a certain number of degrees, we could have just gone triangle and pentagon. Right? We already found the pentagon. What's the pentagon add up to? 540. 540. 540. So we can say this is 540 and this is 180. This is 720. Okay? Molly? You could also, um, I didn't do this at first. I thought about it afterwards. Okay. So you could do the 721. You could do it into a bunch of um, triangles. If you did, like, so erase that line. In there. Erase that one, okay. And where that line started. Here. Yeah, go all the way across. To like, um, here? Yeah. Okay. So do the same with the other side. There? Yeah, then you do, um, let's see what she's doing. The line the two of there. I don't see where she's going. Okay, let's look at that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. All right. How many degrees does this add up to? A lot. One eighty. One eighty. Well, that's.
that's 180, and that's 180, that's 180. If they're all 180, then what would that add up to? 1,080. 1,080. I'm here at 780. I'm here at. Oh, yeah, just 780. 720 plus 3,080. I hear a couple of 1,080s. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. So now I was unsure about because when I did it, it was um, 1,080, and then that the other way I got 720. Okay, so let's talk about that. One way we get 720, the other way we get 1,080. Why is this giving us 1,080? You made a lot more triangles than you did with the other strategy. Okay, so you made a lot more triangles. And is that a problem? Uh, yes. Yeah. Why is that a problem? Got two answers. Okay, two answers. Which one's right? Is it 720 or is it 1080? 720. I seem pretty convinced that it's 720 and not 1080. Why did this get so too much, right? 1080 is more than 720. Why is it too much? Clint? Because you made angles that weren't there in the first place. There's angles in here that are not part of these angles that we're trying to add up. Why? How much too much is there? There's an angle, there's an angle, there's an angle, there's an angle, there's an angle. Circle. Three. We have 360 degrees too much? No. We take 1080 and subtract 360, do we get 720? Yeah. Anybody actually try it? Yeah. Well, no. Give it a shot. 1,080. Yes, no. you do. Yeah, Minus you get 360. Yeah, Should. I mean, this picture seems to. It certainly makes six triangles, right? Okay. All right. There's that. Okay. Let's try it now for this. Cliff was right on that. We need to, like, do better than just say, well, there's a formula that exists and we just use it, okay? That's what we do. That's our style here in Mr. Stewart's math class. We just take formulas at face value. If we don't have to, and we certainly don't have to take that formula at face, face value. We can show that it does work. Okay. So use those ideas. Okay, I see two main ideas. Okay, Molly brought one up. We have another idea where we like we don't have extra angles to show up. <laughs> okay, so who can walk us through a nice tiny little drawing of finding all the, some of those angles? Go ahead. You want to come up and do it? Sure. Can you do the next one? No. Grace can do the next one. This angle in this triangle is part of an angle of the seven gone. Okay, of the seven gone. All, right. All of these, this this angle is made of angles of the triangles. Right. There's no angle in a triangle that's not part of an angle of the seven gone. Right. But how do we use that to find the sum of all the angles? Seven times the five eight twenty. Times the number of right, or sorry, triangles that we have. One, two, three, four, five. Six. By one eighty. This plus 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 this this plus 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 this some more of this one, got this guy, move over to this one, I got this whole angle, you get it, right? As long as we draw those triangles so that the, the angles are always up in the angles of the, the figure that we're starting with, well, then we can just say we have that many 180s. 
There's a different way. So she found, so with graces, and, and this is kind of a continuation of what Molly brought up, right? We find just as many triangles as, I thought I heard a whisper very quietly out there. Sides. Sides. Just as many triangles as sides, right? I could, I could break any figure into as many triangles as there are sides, as long as the triangles are set so they would just fit right together. And these do, of course. You got a point to make over here? Um, I just have a point for all of it. What Clint said about the formula about subtracting two after you found how much sides. Okay. And then I tried to do that on the other one and I got the exact the answer. Okay. Because you subtracted 360, two sides, two times 180 equals 360. Oh, so now you're doing something that's good. We're not just taking the formula and saying, oh, it worked. You're taking the formula and saying, this is why it works. Yeah. Right? So the same thing either way. Right? I had how many, how many sides here? Seven. And able to make how many triangles with that seven-sided figure? Five. Five. Well, that's just the two fewer than the number of sides. Uh -huh. Right? That's how many triangles you were able to make. Okay, so I can look at it that way. Seven minus two, that's how many triangles I'm going to be able to make. Right? Times 180. All right. Or we have, we've made eight triangles here. So... 8 times 180, okay? But that's too much. But it's nice and clean because we know exactly how much too much it is, right? How much too much is it? 360. If we, if we make this, trigger, this, this figure into a bunch of triangles that all meet in the middle like that, then we know we have exactly 360 degrees too much. So we can take that 360. But what was your point about the 360? That equals two sides because 2 times 180 equals... 360 right, so we've squeezed in two more triangles, mm -hmm. right? But we see how, like, we've, we've added up to 360, which is 2 times 180. 360 is 2 times 180. There's that 2 times 180, right? It's the same thing, it's the same idea. Okay? Whether I take the number of sides multiplied by 180 and take away 360, it's the same as taking 2 away from the beginning. Right? Because these two that I take away are two that I don't multiply by 180. You see? Either I could, uh, I could multiply those two by 180 or, or not. I'll just take them out of the running in the first place. Um, now, how about for, let's see, I'll throw a blank page in there. That's what I'll do. Try this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's hard to make a many sided figure that one of the sides doesn't start to, or the two of the sides don't start to look the same. So we're going to call this a, uh, well, this has a name. It's called a decagon. So for this decagon, you could do like a little more quickly this time. When we get it, we have them all up, but don't shout it out. Just calculate it and be ready to throw an answer out there in a second. You ready? You ready? Ready. See if everybody can get ready.
Okay, so uh, let's do this all at once. Let's shout the total number <coughs> of degrees. Go. 1,440. 1,440? Yeah. Sounds like a lot of people got that. <laughs> all right. I got it. So far, I know of two ways that, that you guys have the thing is, you guys are figuring this out. I'm not telling you how to do it, you're doing it. And then we're showing that, that well, it's all the same thing. So how did you do it? Um, well, I just, uh, the answer is the uh, eight sides one is 1,080. Okay. And you add 360 because, um, plus two sides. You have two more sides, two more sides means two more 180s. Okay, so just kind of following a pattern. All right, so they're just following a pattern. Start from the eight-sided figure, go up to the ten-sided figure. Okay? So that is what we call a recursive approach. We start back here, follow a pattern up to our current position right now. Anybody take more of a direct approach? Just like it's a ten-sided figure, and this is how I used a ten. Well, what happened with the octagon? Uh -huh. So I kind of took eight times on the group. So you actually wound up using uh, what Clint brought up. You took 10 minus 2, got 8, multiplied by 180, and that way, right? Or the other way that was on the previous screen, you could have also done 10 times 180 and subtract 360. Yeah. What would you do if you only had three sides? Would you still subtract 2? Well, let's say if we had a three-sided figure, which is a triangle, right? You can take 3 minus 2, which is 1, uh, times 180. <laughs> works, right? It still works. How about, how about if I just threw out there, that I'm not going to try and draw it, but let's say that there was a uh, 37 gone. Okay, could you find the sum of the angles inside? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Let's find that. And, uh, got it. Got it. You got one, got it. Wait, 32? Got it. 37? 37. Mm -hmm. All right. 37 is on. One, two, three. What do we get? Four. Um, 60. 6,300. 6,300 degrees. I got 6,600. What? 6,600? No, you have to take a look at the pattern. It's 37 minus 2 first, and then you can. So it's 35. You always subtract the 60. Why? Well, because you can't make, whoops, you can only make 35 to find those objects chase. Okay, there you go. Let's take the example again of whatever size this is going to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have that right? If I just pick one of the angles, and just start to draw triangles from that, right? Well, I'll just go around the figure and draw lines out to those other corners, right? So, what if I go from here to there? Have I done anything? Yeah, that's just retracing that line. So, but if I go like this, I've made one, and every time I go to the next one over, can I make another triangle over to this one? Shoot it out that way, and there, and well, look at that, I can't make one there, right? So how many triangles does that make? How many, how many sides did it have? Six. Okay, how come we're too short of six? Because we don't have an angle that you don't need. You don't have an angle that you don't need? I guess I mean, like, okay, we, do, we drew it in a way that we don't have extra stuff. Okay. But how about when I start here? How many? How many?
How many angles can I not draw to and make a triangle? One, two. There's two that I don't get triangles, right? And that last one actually makes one two triangles at once, right? So we take the number of sides, subtract, sorry, two, multiply by 180. The only thing that I want you to do for your homework is not for a 37 God, not for a 7 God, not for an 8 God, but for an N God. N being the number of sides. Okay. Um, so come back. It may seem really obvious to you. It may take you a few minutes to write. This is where algebra comes in. Write an equation with the number N in it. And if I plug the number of sides of the figure that I'm talking about into the equation, it lets I carry out that operation, whatever it is. It tells me how many of these all the way So we're supposed to write an expression. Uh, this is essentially an expression. We'll expand it a little bit more next time, though. Okay.